I've taken my printout that I printed on the color printer. I lay it down onto the light table. I'm taking a piece of cardstock. I lay it over the top. And then I took a pen and I went through and traced the outline of my image. I wanted you to see this before you actually downloaded a picture because you got to think about what you're <coughs> going to have to do with it. Now, I've simplified it a lot. If you look at the two, there's, I kind of focused on all the gray areas. And I did some modifications here too, like where it was orange here. I added that to the gray area because this is going to be my stencil. Okay, now that I've simplified this, I'm going to slide it aside and I am going to take another sheet of paper and I am going to go through and I am going to trace all my fills for my other color. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that I am making it slightly larger than my original mask. And that way, once I print my second color over the top of it, I will not have any gaps in where my cup fill color is and where my outline which will lay over the top. And notice I can even simplify this a little bit by just coming down and not even including some of the, the more de fine detail when I'm going through. So I'm going to continue on and just kind of trace my outline. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to modify this just a little bit. I don't like the way that's going because I'm trying to pick up the pace a little bit. So I'm going to do it in just a little bit bigger chunks. <coughs> Now you have a couple different approaches to how you do this. You can get more detail. Now, if I do it this way, I'm going to have to be very technical with my print and make sure I cover it correctly. But I've seen people that have cut each of these insides out, and they have then they've offset it a little bit and has a really cool effect. But with the way I'm doing, I'm going to have to do it straight up. Okay, so now that we have our outlines traced, a couple things I wanted to talk about is I could have I could have something free fold flowing in here, but it's going to be a lot easier if I can keep it all as one piece. Okay, like I have a couple of these smaller pieces in here that once I cut them out will kind of hang on their own. So I want, but they're going to be a little harder to line up. It can be done but I want to keep track of them. So I'm going to start out with my mask here and I am going to take my blade and I'm going to come through and cut my stencil. So I'm going to follow along on the lines that I traced, making sure that I cut all the way through so you'll get a fill for it. Okay. okay, so make sure your blade is sharp. It'll make it go a little bit smoother if you don't have to go over it two times. If their doll comes to see me, I'll get a new blade for you. After I told you to keep it simple, this one turned out to be really complex. Now how we're just so you have an idea of what's going to happen, how we're going to attach these to the screen. We're going to spray adhesive on them, put a little spray adhesive, put them on the screen, and then once we start printing, the ink will hold it onto the screen.